Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about resetting your Insteon system. Now, what are some of the reasons that you might want to do that? One of them is you might have bought a house that already had Insteon installed and you don't know how it works and you can't figure it out or things aren't behaving the way you think they should. Um, I'll give you an example. One of the things that I did, if you've watched my videos in order, I set up Insteon in my house before the hub existed. So I had things configured manually, then I introduced the hub, and I have this hybrid going on right now in my house, plus I also had some legacy X10 stuff in my house. So it's just been a bit of a mess for me, and, um, and I wanna take care of that. So another reason is, you know, sometimes you just have things flaking out and you're not really sure why. For example, over Christmas, I had my Christmas lights in all the windows. I had candles in every window and I had the plug-in modules controlling the candles. And I had my outdoor lights and everything went on the same schedule at the same exact time. And it was working great, right? Well, every now and then, my kitchen light would go on with the outdoor lights. I don't know why, it wasn't in that scene. So sometimes just things get screwed up. And this is a way to just basically restart everything from scratch. And that way I can set it up using the hub, using all these new devices, I've eliminated all the X10, and it's just time to, to reboot the whole thing. So let's get to it. This video is gonna show you how to reset every device in your house and start fresh. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I, I, I'm in my Insteon app on my phone. And you can see I have a number of things on here. I'm going to delete every scene. That's the first step that I want to take care of. And it's probably going to take just as long as it did to set up the scenes because it sends messages back and forth to every device. You want to make sure that every one of your devices is plugged in. Okay? I found that the Insteon Hub and the app really are slow to respond if you've got a device in there that is not plugged in. So in my situation, I have all these plug-in modules that I use for Christmas, I unplugged them, and my, my hub just really slowed down. So I'm going to have to, if I want to do that again next year, I'm going to have to recreate that scene every year, which is not a big deal, but then when Christmas is over, before I unplug everything, I should delete the scene. Just a lesson learned. Okay, so I'm going into Edit Scenes. And let's start with the All On, which was one of the test ones that I had done. And I'm going to say Delete That Scene. Okay, that took about a minute to complete deleting that scene, and it's gone now from my, from my app. So let's do, let's get rid of some easy ones first. I'm going to get rid of Island and Movie next. Now here's an interesting situation where I'm actually getting an error trying to put LD5, which is my lamp dimmer number five, in linking mode. It's sitting here on one of these power strips, the same as the rest of them, and it's giving me an error. So you can see, sometimes things flake out. So I'm going to say skip that one. Factory, I, I searched Google for Insteon Factory Reset, and this takes me to a page that shows me how to reset each individual device, including the hub. But let's scroll down a little bit, plug-in devices. All right, so for example, number five, which is this one here, is the one that was giving me the most trouble in the scene builder. So it's saying, press and hold the set button while re connecting to power. Okay. That should be reset now. Now I'm going to do that with each one of my plug-in modules. Okay, the instructions say to factory reset a keypad dimmer like this. There's a little set button. That set button pulls out that's how you disconnect power from it. So pull it out gently with some needle nose pliers. The lights go off. You push and hold it when you put it back in. I'll use the needle nose pliers again to make sure I don't fall off of it. Okay. 
and there it is reset. All right, I have to do that for two other dimmers that I have in the house. This one is the family room, and the other one is the kitchen. Pull it out, push it back in, and hold it. All right, if you recall, this is one of two wired-in devices that I have down here in the basement. This is the one that controls the outside outlets. Okay, this one is a lot more complicated, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, let's give it a try here. Press and hold. It's green. Press and hold. It's blinking red. Press and hold. Blinking green. Now press set three times. And then press and hold. That should be reset. Now, last but not least, I'm in the laundry room, which is where my router is. And this is where I have the hub as well. And let's see what the directions say for the hub. Okay, this one turns out that it's just like one of the plug-in modules. You disconnect the power, you press the set button, which is the little button on the back, as you re press the power back in and it'll beep for 10 seconds. So it's unplugged, press the set button and hold it, put the power back in. And it should be done. It's done resetting, the light is still red. When it turns green, that means it has connectivity to the internet. And what I'll do is I'll delete the Insteon app from my phone and I'll reinstall it and set it up as if it's a new hub. Then I'll go through the process of setting up each and every device in the house the same way I've been doing in all my other videos. So there you have it. My entire system has been refreshed back to factory settings and now I can start fresh. So if you have problems with your Insteon network, this is one extreme way, but it's one way to get to know all of your devices and make sure that it's set up exactly the way you want it set up. Thanks for watching. For more videos and information about Insteon, just go to my website, handydad.tv slash Insteon. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.